So research has shown if you give a person big dose of stem cells, like what people are doing overseas, they give you a huge amount. The problem is that if they give you a lot of cells all at once and say, hey, goodbye, you're good. Actually, those results are not as good as dividing up this huge amount into multiple sessions and space it out. Hi, this is Dr. Joy Kong. Today, I want to answer a question about how often a person needs stem cell treatment is a very reasonable question. I've been asked that a lot. So I really want to address it because it makes sense. You know, people are excited about stem cells. I want to feel better. I want to heal and uh, I want to stay young, but how often do I need to do this and how much resources am I devoting to this? So I want to address this question because there are different layers to this. So first of all, we need to know what you're trying to get help from, right? Is this an acute issue or is this a chronic condition? So acute issues are something like uh, a sports injury, right? You just injured yourself. A chronic issue may be somebody has diabetes, has osteoarthritis, chronic back pain, degenerative issues, heart issues, and kidneys. So all these are chronic conditions. If you are trying to help to get help for an acute issue, then for example, you injured yourself, right? And let's try stem cell therapy to help you body repair. And a lot of times one treatment will get a person just the right kind of the, the push to regenerate and fix the problem. And you may only need one treatment and, and then let your body do its own healing and it, you give it the right amount of time, right? You don't go do crazy things, then you re-injure yourself. So then you heal and then you're done, right? That's it. And as long as you don't hurt yourself again, and you know, you don't need to do another treatment unless you also want something for anti-aging purposes, right? We're all aging, we're all declining. And there's just a, that's a fact of life. So, you know, then we'll talk a little bit about that, but let's say you're coming in for a chronic issue even, you know, little kids, autism, right? All these are chronic conditions. So how many sessions you need, first of all, depends on how severe and chronic the condition is, and also depends on the person's own regenerative potentials. So I'm teaching this course to providers on all these factors that affect a person's healing. And one of those factors it's a person's own regenerative potentials. So everyone's a little different. So some people may need more and some people may only need one session and they can do really well. That's all they needed. And there are other factors too, of course. There's, you know, how toxic our body is, right? How much toxins are floating around in our body, like heavy metal or other organic toxins and what's going on in the body? You know, what, what about microbiome imbalance? You need to address that too. And hormone imbalance. So all these things are, are needed to address. That's why in our clinic, we use a very comprehensive approach. I don't just give people stem cells thinking that this is an end all be all is absolutely not end all be all because our body is so complex. So if we're trying to help a chronic condition, what I tell people is that initially, we probably are looking at about three sessions within the span of six months. So we can do a session every one to two months, maybe we can stretch it to three for people with more uh, long term neurological type of conditions, it take them a longer time to repair to see the benefit of the previous treatment. So but in general, within six months, we'd like to get three sessions in. So research has shown, if you give a person a big dose of stem cells, like what people are doing overseas, they give you a huge amount. And the problem is that, you know, that's a whole other issue about what kind of cells they're giving you because they're expanded cells and, and th those are different. But if they give you a lot of cells all at once and say, hey, goodbye, you know, you're good. Actually, those results are not as good as dividing up this huge amount into multiple sessions and space it out. So you actually can get a much more enhanced results by doing smaller doses on a regular basis because there's a biological rhythm. Our body has a rhythm of repair. You don't just throw everything all at once, right? I always give an analogy like antibiotics. Let's say you got a, a bladder infection or whatever, urinary tract infection, and your doctor is giving you antibiotics. The doctor doesn't say, hey, take the whole bottle and you're good, right? You take it once every six to eight hours or 12 hours until the course is finished because there's a rhythm of repair. 
that you don't just <laughs> use a large dose because the body doesn't quite work that way. The body has a rhythm and takes time. So I would say about three sessions within the span of six months. Do some people do really well with just one session? Yes. I'm so happy for them. That's fantastic. You know, I've seen that. I've seen that with really, really severe chronic conditions. With one session, people do really well. And then great. Then let's see, you know, how you do. Because I always say, you know, we have to look at what's causing you to be sick in the first place, right? So let's say you, you've got rheumatoid arthritis. How come the next person doesn't have rheumatoid arthritis? What's in you? What's going on in your life and your body that's causing the rheumatoid arthritis? So if we don't address all those factors, those factors are still there and they may bring you back to a diseased state. If we can address all those factors, then you may not need another treatment because then we remove the cause of the disease. But if you're not addressing or you don't know what they are, a lot of times we don't know what they are and we don't know how to address it. We don't know where to, to go to. So then they're still there. Some are genetic, right? It's really, we're not there as far as fixing your genes. So if that's, it's genetic, it's other factors we don't know, then it's going to constantly try to pull you back. And then over time, the disease process is pushing you into the disease state and then you may need stem cells again to help you repair. So that's the, the booster treatment that down the line, right? Unless we can address why you got sick in the first place and, and remove all those causes. So if we're doing a booster treatment, a lot of times the general guideline, people say, you know, possibly six to 12 months, but I've seen people do really well for years. And maybe in two, three years, the person is like, well, you know, I'm not doing so well again. You know, can I get another treatment? Yes. So, so that's, it's, it's really depends on how a person does. I have treated people with chronic pain, aches and pains everywhere. Some of these are people who are older, you know, sick, late sixties, seventies, or even close to 80. And maybe they're not eating a good diet. They're eating a lot of inflammatory foods and maybe they're not sleeping, you know, optimally. Maybe they're drinking alcohol. So whatever they're doing in their lives that they can't change or are unwilling to change, then in four to six months, some of the aches and pains come back then okay, you know, if we can't make those changes, we don't want you to suffer either, right? So then we can do another treatment. So some of my anti-aging patients, right, they're doing great in life, but they have some aches and pains, some, some issues, lack of energy, like lack of sex drive, then we can give stem cell treatments to improve the quality of their lives. But if some symptoms return, then we do another booster treatment. So that brings me to the anti-aging aspect. So how often should you do stem cell treatments? If you just want to stay young and stay vibrant, right? That's my goal in life. So I have been doing IV stem cells on myself for anti-aging purposes for the last eight years, every three months. So I'm 53 years old and I look a lot younger than 10 years ago. So there's something that's really powerful with these cells that these days we're able to reverse biological age. And I'm not just saying this is because if you go online, look at one of the lectures I gave called uh, the anti-aging benefits of stem cells. I go through studies, research studies, quite a few, of course, are animal studies where they can study lifespan. So regular IV infusions of younger animals, stem cells actually help the animals to live about 30% longer and not just living longer, but looking younger, moving younger and thinking younger, right? These are all parameters. And then when they dissect their muscles and, and their brain tissue and actually found out all these markers have returned to the younger state. So we are at this point in medicine that we can achieve that. We can prolong this youth for a very long time. So how exciting is that? Because in the past, I don't care if you're a king, a queen, you are the richest person in the world, you are still aging and declining. And you know, that's, that's the path, right? But now we, we have ways to intervene and you don't have to be a king or queen to have access to this. So it's, it's super exciting. But anyhow, so every three to six months is what I recommend. Because in general, the stem cells will live in your body for about one to three months. And then 
the benefits, you know, that they secrete exosomes and all these growth factors, and that will have an effect in the body. And that effect will last for on average about another three months. So that's just on average. We're talking about average here. So if you always want to have some of these signals that's promoting regeneration in your body, then maybe once every six months. But if you always want some cells, in your body, these young cells that help you, that, that's active and triggering all these regeneration, that may be every three months. And, and I've seen patients who are a little more aggressive and want to do it more often. So that's an individual choice. So that's uh, the answer about how often you should do it. And you can always, right, first of all, fix the problem you have. So if you have a chronic condition, we can help you get to a really good state. And then after that, if you want to stay young, right, stay well, and you want to reverse your age, then we can do the anti-aging regimen every three to six months. But if you don't want to, you know, you want to follow the natural aging process, that's debatable what's what's natural. But if you want to just follow the aging process, you said, you know, I'm good with that. You just don't want to be sick. Then if you're removing all the causes of the disease, maybe you won't need another treatment. But if you still have those underlying causes pushing you toward the disease state, then you can do a booster treatment, maybe once every six to 12 months, or even two to three years, or even longer, you know, depending on how much you can address the underlying causes. So that's all I have for you. I hope that kind of clarifies a little bit of this uh, question of how often. I need to spend all this money to do stem cell treatment. So feel free to comment on this and ask me questions. I'm happy to cover more subjects. So yeah, and I, uh, I always answer my questions on YouTube. I love engaging with my audience and I just, I love all the support from you guys and share this with somebody who's considering stem cell therapy and really, you know, give them a, a good idea of really what are we looking at and, and how the cells can help you like like the philosophy and the thought behind these therapies so yeah subscribe and like and uh, i'll see you next time